Is fecal transplant therapy an effective therapy for weight loss and for diabetes? Hey, this is Dr. Ruscio, and let's discuss this question. If you're not familiar with what uh, fecal transplant therapy is, it's uh, maybe a little bit alarming if you've never heard of it. It's essentially where you take the feces from a healthy donor and you transplant that into the intestines of a recipient with uh, trying to kind of recolonize their, their uh, intestinal bacteria. So um, let's discuss the issue of that therapy and its effectiveness toward weight loss or diabetes. So your fast facts on this issue are, the only clinical trial to date, the one we're discussing today, has shown that FMT, fecal microbial transplant therapy, an abbreviation, is not effective as a treatment for weight loss or for diabetes. Diet, probiotics, fiber, certain herbal supplements like berberine and prebiotics have all been shown meaningfully effective, meaningfully effective, excuse me, for diabetes. And diet and fiber have meaningful effects for weight loss. Um, FMT is best used for resistant Clostridium difficile infections. And you have to be careful when reading headlines. And that is actually a nice segue into um, the kind of brunt of this video. So the only clinical trial that we have to date that's looked at this has taken the uh, feces from healthy donors, lean healthy donors, and transplanted that into donors that were overweight or had uh, metabolic syndrome or problems with blood sugar. And the researchers wanted to see if by doing this you could have a positive impact on weight and blood sugar and, and, and so on. And what was irritating about this um, study was that in the conclusions the authors mentioned that there was a favorable impact on blood sugar and an increase in butyrate production, butyrate being a short chain fatty acid that's um, healthy in some cases for the intestinal um, for your intestinal cells. Now I like to fact check things and so when I went in and I actually fact checked this is what I found and I'll just put the table up here for those that really want to dig into this and I'll leave it up here for a second but what you're seeing is the placebo versus the control. Um, the allogenic was the people receiving the treatment and the autogenic was the people receiving uh, the placebo which was essentially their own feces. Now the point I want to make here and the take-home point from this is when you look at meaningful measures of blood sugar like flat fasting blood glucose excuse me you see no change from baseline to six weeks into the intervention. And you see no meaningful change, no change at all in body weight, body fat, or in blood pressure or cholesterol levels. Now, they were referencing, uh, they had said that there was an improvement in blood sugar and they referenced some, what I would call some more obscure marker of glucose kinetics, which yes, didn't prove, but the much more powerful clinically relevant marker of blood sugar being fasting blood glucose. What you would go do a blood test through your local doctor's office to monitor your diabetes or prediabetes, um, that marker didn't change at all. So you have to be careful when reading conclusions. And I'd like to give these researchers the benefit of the doubt that they weren't doing this with any kind of malicious intent, but I think that people reading these studies have to have a critical eye to fact check because this study could very easily be misinterpreted to give someone with challenging diabetes hope that by doing FMT therapy it could help and clearly the results from this study show that uh, at least from this study which is the first of its kind the first clinical trial uh, placebo clinical trial in humans that uh, weight loss effect and effect on blood sugar are really non-significant, not uh, present really at all. So hopefully this helps you if this exotic treatment is one that you've been contemplating doing. I think uh, this helps set a realistic expectation for what kind of weight loss or blood sugar improvement uh, benefits you may, or in this case, may not receive from this therapy. So this is Dr. Ruscio and I hope this helps you get healthy and get back to your life. Thanks. Bye.